Hello and welcome back to Goldcrest Valley in Farm Simulator 22. Um, and this morning I'm just off to the forest to cause some more carnage and cut some, some more trees down and earn probably about, I don't know, about $20,000 uh, because we have enough money now for Field 20 which we're just arriving at here. Uh, let me just uh, manoeuvre this bridge. I'm not sure how we're going to get a harvester across here to harvest Field 20 in front of us but we will somehow. Um, so uh, this is field 20 in front of us and tomorrow actually we need to buy it and I think that we've got the money. Last time I said we had the money the price seemed to go up but it might be in my imagination. So it's 346,000 we have 349,000. Let's go and see the state of play. Yes it's got soybeans on it and uh, it hasn't been precision farmed so that's all fine. Uh, that's what I would expect. So we will buy that tomorrow and the day after we should be harvesting it. So, but I need to get some spare cash, you know, we've got the cash to, to buy the field, but no other cash. So we do have bread. By the way, I don't know if you remember our forest, but it is, it is a forest no more. We do have a hundred spruce trees planted here and after I've done some more forestry, I'm going to plant 200 more spruce trees but I just need to um, fill the trailer full of spruce at the moment because last time I did forestry I'd, I, I cut down loads and loads of pine trees and I got virtually nothing for it so it's spruce all the way so there's a nice bit clearing here so uh, let's get out and start I have my trusty chainsaw and my trusty super strength and this is what I'm going to use to to cut down and trim trees today. So, um, this is actually a pine tree, but this is a big pine tree, so this 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 is fine. Yeah, so the, the plan is, you'll see that the forest is looking very bare. I'm gonna cut down some of these other trees here um, and just clear it, clear, clear it a little bit. And then we'll start, in the winter, we'll, we'll come up here and we'll plant loads and loads of spruce trees. Um, so um, I have the lumberjack mod so I can easily get rid of stumps but um, yeah I'm gonna get on with cutting down about six or seven uh, trees and I'll see you in a minute Okay, so that's about all I can do for the moment. I'm a bit worried about the T7. I'm always worried about the T7 being able to pull it, but it, it always does it. So uh, I'll go off to the, uh, the biomass heating plant now and, and sell all this wood. And hopefully it'll make us about 20,000. Um, that's probably including the, the environmental reward that we, we normally get. So um, I'll make my slow and ponderous way over there and I'll see you when we get there. If you see our money go up sometimes inexplicably, it's because we're selling planks. We have a sawmill and we have nowhere, nowhere to sell planks, so we have to sell them directly out of the factory, which I know is a bit of a, a, a we lose money there. We lose about 40% of the value, but we can't do anything else because we've got nowhere to sell them. We do have a carpentry, but it won't accept any more planks. I don't know where it's getting its planks from, but it won't accept any more. It's always full. So anyway, uh, let's see how much we get for this. I'm anticipating uh, a, a, a net 20,000. Yeah, about that. So 18, uh, just over 20,000 I suppose. So um, that's very good because that gives us some spare cash. Um, and we need spare cash for what I have to do next. And what I have to do next, 
uh, let's just detach is go down the shop and hire uh, a John Deere power sprayer because we have we have four fields that need to be refertilized and herbicided <laughs> if that's the word they need to be weeded we need to spray herbicide on all of them so we do have some fertilizer and herbicide but we need the machine because we don't have one at the moment so we need to hire the John Deere power sprayer with the see and spray technology on it so I'll see you when we when we get back from the shop. I have to use the JCB tractor for this job because I can't put narrow tires on this on this T7. So uh, I'll just detach it and put it to one side, and I have to jump in the JCB and go and put narrow tires on the JCB. Unless it's already got them on, I think they're narrow tires already. I'll just check in in the machine shed that we have. Because if we go on the field, you probably know this, but if we go on the field uh, with normal tyres on, it will destroy the crop. But we have to have narrow tyres on to not destroy the crop. So, customise, narrow tyres are ready on it, that's fine. So, let's get things organised and let's go and spray the field. So I just want to stand on the field to see, uh, to make sure we're doing the right thing. I'm sure we are. Nitrogen is bad, yeah. 80 out of 200 kilograms so uh, we have this machine and let's just make sure that the automatic application rate is on it is that's fine so I'm always paranoid about these kind of things so let's try and get lined up fairly well and I've switched it on so it should be working yes it is so uh, so this is for fertilizing the field and uh, then after we've fertilized all our four fields we need to put herbicide on them because you can see the weeds all over the place here so we do have some herbicide somewhere so anyway I will see you when I've finished these well how many fields are going to do these two fields here okay I'll do I'll do a fast forward and I'll see you at the end see you at the end I really like how Precision Farming gives you um, the pictorial representation down the bottom of the, the field going green. Um, so it it's like uh, goes from red to green, and that's uh, I always like that. <laughs> that's one good thing about it. You can see where you've been, you know, that this kind of thing. So this is the last bit, obviously. Um, now I think what I will do now is to immediately go to herbicide and spread herbicide on these two fields because then they're completely finished um, we do have some herbicide somewhere in the shed so I'm going to go over and do the changeover yes I found the herbicide <laughs> I found the herbicide it was hidden in the shed but I did find it so um, yeah I think that there's probably going to be a lot of spraying in this episode but we do need to finish these fields off I'd like to do it today because tomorrow is a big day when we have to go and buy field 20 um, I've been looking forward to that for ages. We've been saving up and saving up and we finally got the money. Um, I'm not sure if we've got any more eggs. Let's have a look. Quite a lot of eggs actually. Um, so we've got some tomatoes. So we should go and try and sell some things pretty soon. But um, we have this to concentrate on first. So um, I like the herb siding because I like seeing the, sp the, the weeds go in black as you're doing it. So we have sea and spray. So um, we use very very little herbicide so uh, again I'll have to put this on a, a fast forward let's just see it working first of all sorry I can't drive and talk at the same time my driving is terrible you can see it working you can see the weeds going black yeah I like that 
little things. So again, I'll, I'll put it on a, a fast forward and I'll see you at the end. occurred to me before but I think the thing I find satisfying about weeding is that it's the last thing well for me anyway it's the last thing I do uh, to our precision farming fields after this the field is completely finished um, I would like to see the scores actually because I think it really should be 100% now I've done everything I can to uh, precisely farm this f this field let's just um, fold up and see what our scores are 70% I'm bothered about this field because it says 70 and it says nitrogen at the top. Um, yeah, nitrogen is the one at the top. It should be full of nitrogen. I want to go and pop over to that field. I'm just going to run over there very quickly. I'm not even out of breath. So it says here, look, you can see nitrogen is perfect on this field. But in precision farming, uh, nitrogen, there's nothing there for nitrogen. Well, I've had this thing with um, another map that I play on, which is the Alex Pro Dealer's Centre Farm. And um, we had it on a grass field where there was a score, there was a, a thing saying weeds. You have a problem with weeds, but it wasn't to do with the grass field. It was to do with two other fields. That, and when, when, we, when we weeded those other fields, the problem on the grass field went away. So... A bit of a long story, but anyway, um, it could be something unrelated to the field is what I'm trying to say. So I think what I'll do is go, is fill up with fertiliser again and go to those other two fields and I will, um, yeah, I'll fertilise those. But um, I'm not sure whether to do a, a fast forward. Let me just fill up and then I'll think about it. Um, well, we'll take a drive down there anyway. Yeah, I think what I might do is fertilise them and then I'll see you at the end. So this is the final bit of fertiliser going on. This fertiliser has lasted for ages. Um, I thought we were going to run out, run out at one point, but uh, obviously we didn't. Uh, now, when we finish this, there's something I'd like to see. Just a little bit left. Uh, it's to do with the field that I said about... Uh, it had a 70% score and it's, it, it, um, it said about the fertiliser on it. Let's have a look at it now. It's still 70%. There's still a nitrogen here. Nitrogen is fertiliser. And it's saying that there's a, there's a zero nitrogen score. That's Honestly, that's not fair. I'd like to see the precision farming headmaster or something because I would like to know why that says a 0% score of nitrogen on it. If you know, please let me know because I think that's unfair and I've got the hump. <laughs> so, uh, we need to put... Let me get off the field actually, that's just wrong to drive on the field. Let me get some herbicide now and we're going to herbicide these fields. And this time I will put it on a time lapse because um, it's the final thing to do on the fields. So I'll, I'll see you when we're, when we're back with the herbicide. Yeah, I think I should do a time lapse on the the herbicide because it's the let's just knock this uh, signpost over. I didn't do it. Uh, it's a ceremonial uh, ending of the fields. It's the last thing to do on the field. So it is for me. I don't know what you do with your your precision farming, but for me, uh, getting rid of the weeds is the final thing to do. So uh, it's uh, it's very handy as well that these two fields are right next to each other. So once I've finished on this this uh, sort of column of weeds, I can go straight over to the other field. So anyway, 
Oh, <laughs> it's very handy. Anyway, so I'll put this on the time lapse and I'll see you at the end. It feels like such a relief to get all these four fields completely finished and we can just put them to bed now until uh, I think it's July when it's canola that we've got in here um, I can't remember when the harvest is but I think it's, pro it's probably July um, and the other thing is about field 20 let's just have a look at field 20 um, over here this has got soybeans in it, uh, probably quite a lot of soybeans because it's a big field. And after soybeans, I would like to do cotton. Now, when do, when do you put cotton in? Uh, it says here March, February and March planting season. So we've got time after we've harvested um, on the 1st of October. That's what I anticipate anyway. Uh, we've got time. We don't have to rush uh, putting in uh, barley or wheat, which will be in September or October. Um, I, I, which it is a relief to me. I don't want to have to rush anything. I just want to harvest the field, and then we've got we can take our time to do the precision farming thing afterwards. So um, I'm going to go and reclaim the herbicide that's in the machine, and then we'll send it back. We don't need it at all uh, for a while. So, um, and then I think I'll go back to the forest and do another uh, thing of forestry, um, and then we'll see where we are. Okay, I've just come over to the biomass heating plant to pick up the uh, lo the logging trailer, which is right next to our grain mill, and I've noticed the barley is quite low in here. So um, I'm just putting the forestry on hold to go back to the, uh, the the fast track and to get some barley and bring it over here. We've got loads in the silo, but it's it's no use to us in the silo. It needs to be working for us and making flour. So I'm just going to do this and then we then we'll return to forestry so let's go and get filled up anyway yes we have a lot of barley or we did have and wheat in here so we're just gradually taking it all over to the grain mill um, and then it will be turned into flour and then it will be turned into bread and we have loads of bread at the moment but we can't sell it till December because the price at the moment is really low um, so in December we'll have loads and loads of bread and also tomatoes. Uh, that's that's uh, the time for the good price for those two things. And then we'll have a bumper Christmas. <laughs> so I'll see you when we get to the grain mill. So here we are at the grain mill and uh, I have a cunning plan. Uh, we're going to harvest soybeans pretty soon and we'll have quite a lot of them and they, they're worth a bit when, when, it's, when, when they're at a good price. And I would like to bit buy this field to my left here with uh, what we get for the soybeans, which might be about 200,000. So let's see how much this field is. If I just put this in here, I want to see how much this field is uh, to my left here. So where are we? We're here. So field 13 is 130,000. Okay, that's not too much of a stretch. So we should get that for our soybeans when we sell them, maybe next July. So that's something to think about because I'd like to have this field because it feels like we should own it um, it's right next to our biomass heating plant and our grain mill and it's not ours and it should be ours what's on it at the moment actually let's have a look cotton okay cotton so cotton is something I would like to do I'd like to do that on field 20 anyway I'll take the 
I'll take the, the, the fast track back and I'll see you at the forest. I had a, a New Holland T7 tractor drive straight past my house the other day. I live, I live in a very rural part of England with lots of farms around and it sounded exactly like this one sounds. Um, I think they got the sounds completely correct on Farm Simulator. They, I think they do a lot of work on it. So uh, well done them. <laughs> so uh, let's... I won't do a time lapse or anything. I'll just see you when I've when I've done all the forestry I can here, um, and I've got the the trailer all full up. If I survive with this lightning and thunder, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I think that's the best I can do. There's not much forest left now, but uh, uh, in the winter we're going to replant it all. Uh, we might have like 500 spruce here by the time we finished. Uh, so, anyway, let's strap up and let's get over to, to the biomass heating plant and see what we can get for this lot. Hopefully about 20,000. I'll see you when we're over there. So tomorrow's going to be a very exciting day because that's the day when we have to buy that field. Uh, we have to buy it tomorrow because I, I'm, I'm anticipating it's going to be harvested immediately on October the 1st if we don't get to it first. So uh, we have to buy it tomorrow. We've got the money to do it now. Um, we should have a bit more money in a second. How much of this lot do you think? I think about 20,000. Maybe a bit more. I'm not sure. Oh, a bit less. It might be because we brought all that wood uh, earlier. So, uh, thanks for watching today. Um, I've achieved all the goals for today. You know, getting the fields finished and doing two rounds of um, forestry. So, I'll see you next time when we'll be spending a lot of money. <laughs> so, thanks for watching and bye for now.